All right, we're talking about the warm up for Tuesday, March 24th, starting with a minute of a couch shoulder stretch. That's both arms overhead. We'll show you that in a moment. And then three times through. I definitely want everyone three times through on this one. Single leg RDLs, that's SL RDL, single leg RDL, five on each side, five per side of a Cossack squat, five inchworms, and then 10 pancake sit-ups, some abs, and a little bit of stretch. We'll take a look at what that looks like right now. To start the warm-up for Tuesday, we're doing a couch stretch, a couch shoulder stretch for one minute. This can be on any raised surface. Certainly a low couch works. We're gonna use a chair today. It could be a counter, it can be a windowsill. Uh, you could do this with your hands against the wall. Almost anything works. Ideally, side on, we're gonna have thumbs to the ceiling, hands about shoulder width apart. Don't get super wide, it doesn't work as well. Hand shoulder width apart, and we're going to, keeping your back flat, try and drive your shoulders toward the ground. So imagine pressing your armpits straight down, trying to open this shoulder angle up as much as possible. Be aware, we don't want to just curve your lower back. That's not really changing the shoulder angle. Back flat, shoulders toward the ground, press. This should be a fairly significant stretch. You can stretch in and out, but we're going to try and get at least one minute of this shoulder stretch. Next movement for Tuesday's warm-up is a single leg RDL. We're going to do this without a load, so not holding anything. We want to pick one, knee to, uh, one leg to stand on, slightly bend that knee, and then we're going to come forward, pressing your hips backward, pull yourself back up with your ham and your glute. So side on, slight bend in that knee. That's as much as your knee bends. Think driving your hips backwards, let that other leg trail. You can do whatever you want with your arms that helps you balance. Actively using that your hamstring and butt to pull yourself back up to standing. Five on one leg, five on the other leg, 10 all together. Next movement is a Cossack squat. You can see I'm already starting nice and wide, feet well outside of shoulder width. We're gonna squat back, down, and to the side. So this side I'm squatting towards, that foot stays flat on the ground, knee out over your toe, chest as tall as you're able, back to standing, down to the other side. If you wanna make this a little harder, hands over your head. If this is hard to get into, use your hands on the ground. You can absolutely walk yourself down into these positions, see what it's like to get really low, walk yourself over to the other side, hang out down there. Five to your right, five to your left, 10 all together. Next part of our warm-up is an inchworm. Starting nice and tall, keep your legs as straight as you can. You're gonna reach for the ground. Once you get there, only walking with your hands. Hands walk out, legs stay straight. As far as you can get, tight and under control. And then only toes. Legs stay straight. Toes walk as close as you can get to your hands. Stand on up, do it four more times. Five inchworms all together. Last part of this warm-up circuit is a pancake sit-up. Pancake is legs a little wider than 90 degrees ideally. If you're super flexible, don't do this in a middle split. Bring those legs in a little bit. I am not super flexy. A pancake, ideally, I would reach forward and touch my chest to the ground. I can't do that. But if you can, you should. Starts in the bottom of a sit-up, shoulders to the ground, whoop. Starts in the bottom of a sit-up, we're gonna come on down, shoulders touch the ground, up and reach forward as far as you can. Shoulders to the ground, up and reach forward as far as you can. This should be an ab move sitting up as well as a big adductor stretch. We're gonna get 10. Talking about the Metcon for Tuesday the 24th, four rounds, four time, so task-based here. We, it starts with 30 bag sumo deadlifts. You can sumo deadlift everything, we'll talk, or anything rather. We'll talk about that in the movement demo, but it's written as 30 sumo bag deadlifts immediately into 20 jumping bag squats using the same load, and then 20 gymnastics bear crawls, sort of more analogous to a handstand walk. We have a 15 minute time cap on this, so four times through, less than 15 minutes. We're talking about the Metcon for Tuesday. Four rounds for time, 30 sumo bag deadlifts, or bag sumo deadlifts if you prefer, 20 jumping squats, 
20 gymnastics bear crawls. Uh, for the bag, I'm using the trusty orange backpack again. We have put something in it earlier. Uh, of course, the trusty bag o bleach. I'm just dropping that in there, secure it nice and tight. If you're using something filled with liquid, always remember to keep that lid really tightly closed, seal it up. If you need to add some tape around it, do so. If you have a dumbbell, kettlebell, etc., you're welcome to use that too. Starts on the ground. I'm gonna straddle that object nice and wide, toes out, as tall as I can be. Ideally, I'm gonna keep my chest vertical, come all the way down, shins are vertical, reach for that object, stand back up. Reach for that object, stand back up. From the side, down, 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 down. You can see my shins are vertical or almost vertical. I'm really loading up my hips more than anything else. Super tall and up. Super tall and up. 30 reps is a lot. This doesn't have to be terrifically heavy, especially because we're doing four rounds. Second movement in the Metcon, jumping squats. I'd like you to use the same load. You can hold it any way you want. So if I held this at my chest, hopefully not being too loud on the microphone, down to the bottom, get some air. Down below parallel, back up again. You can totally get creative with this. If this is heavy, put it on nice and tight. I would hang on to it so it doesn't bounce around. Down to the bottom, get some air. Down to the bottom. If for some reason this is super easy, and it shouldn't be, take it straight overhead. Down to the bottom, get some air. That'll get real old, real fast. 20 jumping squats. Third movement for this Metcon is a gymnastics bear crawl. Uh, differentiating it from our normal bear crawl, because I want your butt really high in the air. This is analogous to a handstand walk. So, hands on the ground. Drive your head through your arms, legs tall and straight. Keeping your legs locked out. The closer your hands can be to your feet, the harder this will be. From here, we're stepping. One, two, three, four. Tall as you can be, arms locked out, knees locked out, 20 steps. And we're talking about the finisher for Tuesday the 24th. Uh, a reminder, if you're doing our online classes, this finisher will most likely be different. The follow-on classes, finishers, coaches' choice. But if you're doing this on your own, three sets, 20 tuck-ups, 20 Russian twists, 20 per side flutter kick, three times through that, and then one minute of a pancake stretch. A little deep stretch cool down to relax. Let's take a look at it. Your at-home finisher today, all abs. It's 20 seconds of tuck-ups, 20, wait, I forgot what it is. 20, no, it's 20, it's not time-based, that's what it is. Your at-home finisher for today, three sets, 20 tuck-ups, 20 per side Russian twists, 20 per side flutter kicks. Now rest as little as you can and still make these look really good. Reminder, tuck-ups starts ideally in this long hollow position, uh, lower back into the ground, ankles off the ground, shoulders off the ground, pull up to this tight coccyx balance, back to hollow. Tight, back to hollow. 20 times. Russian twists, conveniently enough, start at the top of that balance. So potentially, you can go from a tuck up right into Russian twists, which is in this balance, your eyes follow your hands, tap, 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 tap. 20 on each side. So 40 altogether, finishing with flutter kicks. Again, ideally in this tight hollow position, possibly arms overhead, little kicks, but make sure your heel gets above your toe. So here, pretty good. This isn't enough of a flutter kick. This is too much of a flutter kick. One, two, three, four, uh, 10 total, 20 or 20 total, 20 per side. If this is too hard, raise those feet up. This is an easier flutter kick than this is. Three times through that, 20, 20, 20, finishing with one minute of that pancake stretch. We did a pancake setup in the warm up, nice and wide, as far forward as you can get, and just big deep breath, exhale and reach. Big deep breath, exhale and reach. With every breath, I want you to think about getting a little deeper and a little deeper, 
really finding a big stretch, dropping your heart rate, cooling down.